All right, so let's talk some Aliens Predator customs. Uh, these are uh, some of the customs that I've been working on, some customs from some other people. And uh, yeah, let's just kind of talk about it. So um, recently I purchased these two beautiful sculptures. Uh, these are from a sculptor named John Halberson, I think is how you pronounce it. But John did an amazing sculpt uh, of clothes on these two ma mannequins. And then um, it was casted up by the AVP Wargaming Customs um, uh, admin, uh, Joshua Waranowski, who is uh, the guy that runs that Facebook group. And anyways, so they cast up some customs. So if you want to buy these particular sculpts, they're selling them over there. Um, they come out like this, so they're uh, they're resin. But I'm going to tell you kind of how these were created and kind of show you what I've been doing. So this kit, this is a, I believe it's called Holocene. Um, it's a, um, uh, a resin uh, model kit that came out in, I think it was like the 80s or 90s. Uh, anyways, it's kind of a flexible resin, so it's warped a little bit over time, but um, I painted it up to look like the Geiger brown um, that it was originally painted in the movie. Um, these guys, I sculpted myself. These guys are engineers made out of plumber's epoxy, which has a very short running time. Um, my sculpting has gotten a lot better over the years, but uh, when I first started doing wargaming with the Alien Predator stuff, I tried sculpting these super fast. And it was kind of difficult, but I um, uh, I, I built, built those guys. And I wanted them larger to be kind of uh, fitting more with the, that scale. So that's uh, kind of halfway between that scale and that scale. I believe these are 54 millimeter miniatures. And here's a 32 millimeter Protos Games miniature. So 32 millimeters next to the 54. You can see the height difference there. Uh, now these... Uh, originally, before they had the, the the body sculpted onto them, they were originally from this company. These are some mannequins. Um, I'm trying to pronounce that, but it's the M-K-O-N-T-R-A-R-O-S.com. Um, it's a company out of Europe. And uh, Contraros, I think, is how you pronounce that. But these are some 75 millimeter figures. I accidentally bought the 75 ones because they were sold out of this scale. But originally these guys come nude and then uh, you can sculpt whatever you want on them. So I'm just gonna open up these. These are 75 millimeter. So we're gonna see kind of what you get in this kit and um, how it scales. So here we go, we got this big guy. So comparing to this guy, so 54 millimeter, 75 millimeter, and 32 millimeter. So there's your scale difference and comparison. So I bought these thinking they were that scale, but these guys are actually more to scale with what I was originally sculpting. Um, obviously my sculpts are a little goofy compared to something like this, but what I can do is I can do this kind of thing and add it to this guy and do some very large engineers. So if you wanted some alpha engineers or somebody, um, it is a bit big for sure comparing to like this guy. This is like movie accurate. This is just silly, but I don't know. I'm gonna do something with it. It, was, it can be pretty cool. So we might do some alpha engineers or something like that. So um, anyways, you'll you'll get one of these guys and then here in this kit, you also get another one. Only this time you can actually um, build them yourself. So you're supposed to drill little holes there and put in the armature wire. There's a couple of different hands you can choose from. There's a holding hand. Okay, so we'll just leave out the big, the big boy. I'll try to put a link in the description of 
company that makes these guys. And then if you go over to the Alien vs. Predator Wargaming Customs Facebook group called AVP Wargaming Customs, um, you can order these lovely guys. Okay, so here's the female. Pretty solid. So you can see this gives you a pretty good base to work off of. So whether you want to go more classic Geiger scale or go uh, more Prometheus scale, there you go. So again, they're huge. So yeah, again, in the movie, like, the best way to compare is when they're holding the heads in their hands, like the giant head. It was, you know, about about that size, you know, when they found the severed head, compared to something like that big. That'd be pretty big. But I'm going to do something with these two, something gaggery, see what I can come up with. That'll be pretty cool. Now, if it, any of you were looking at this sculpture, I got this off of Amazon. I just Google searched Engineer Head. Um, I forget the name of the company that manufactures it, um, but it's kind of hard to find now. But they did their own kind of solid cast. I think it's plaster or resin or something. It's heavy. Um, of the head from Prometheus. Again, these are the goofy sculpts that I did. Now, I designed this one off of the Alien, Predator, Prometheus, Fire and Stone comic book. They had this weird gun that kind of opened up like a flower. I thought that was pretty cool. And then this was the regular gun. Um, these ones I originally did all in purple, which is what they did in the comics. Um, I, think, I think what I want to do is, as I work on my engineers, I want to do more of the Geiger, like, gray pattern. I don't really like the brown as much. I think that, I think this gray with white highlights looks really good. Uh, that's my own opinion. Um, oh, and then if you want to make, um, the, uh, the, the urns, um, get yourself some beads. So this was a pack of beads I got at the craft store and they have this shape that's pretty close to the urn shape in the movie. Um, I, the thing I don't like about this one, it has a rounded top and it doesn't quite, and it, there's supposed to be like this seam line in the middle that kind of flattens out this way. Uh, and the bottom is a little too pointy. So I'm going to either have to just say whatever and just paint this and call it done. Or I'm going to have to file this down or find some other um, other beads out there. I was actually surprised on how hard it was to find this shape in beads. Uh, there's a lot of stores out there that sell beads, but not none that have that that uh, oval kind of shape uh, bead. Um, they, they, are, they are out there. I've seen them. But lately I've been trying to find something better than this shape and it's been really hard to find. So uh, keep, your, keep an eye out there. If you uh, see anything, uh, share it with our Facebook group page, um, AVP Wargamer. And um, yeah, have fun doing more Alien and Predator customs and someday maybe we'll, I'll have my own little custom uh, engineer army until uh, until Protos Games or some other company gets the rights to do engineers. So, anyways, that's it. End of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, talk to you next time.